Right, we're on. As you can probably see, I've missed the fairway. I guarantee this is a shot you're going to have in your next round of golf, so listen carefully. Unless you hit every fairway, that is. And that's not me. I spend half my time in the semi-rough, or even the heavy rough. <laughs> so, today we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to play from the semi-rough, or the edge of the, the fairway, if you like. So when you've just got into that first cut, maybe even second cut, that's today's topic. I guarantee this will help you out, because we all get this shot every round. 25% of PGA Tour players play their approach shot from the first cut. Here we go. Today's video is brought to you by this little thing, the dead aim ball marker. Have you tried it? Look at that. There's nine alignments there to make sure you get the ball started on the correct line. I struggled before getting the ball line on the golf ball, lined up with my intended start line. The dead aim ball marker gives you nine options. It's just a simple thing. Throw it down, choose the option that's closest to the line you've read, and then it's dead easy to line your golf ball up with your intended start line. It's the only way, in my opinion, that we can get the golf ball lined up with where we want the ball to start. It's a no brainer. There's a promo code for that, which I'll put on the screen right now. If you click that, you'll get a discount when you order one. You know, for a few pounds, it's, it's, um, it's a viable piece of kit to have in your golf bag. I um, have just dropped it, but struggle to golf without it. I'm getting that straight back in my pocket right now. Let's go on with the video. So I've placed a couple of balls here in the semi-rough. I mean, this, this is quite thick stuff, actually. This is probably, this will be your second cut on your normal course. Winter conditions in Scotland just now, the, the grass is uh, not being as looked after as it could have been. Anyway, so balls in the semi-rough, I've missed the fairway. Now I need to look at this and think, okay, is there any obstacles in front of me? How am I going to get this ball to fly? What trajectory do I want? It is very much a case though that you have to take your medicine. You've put yourself in the rough, so you need to get yourself out. Now obviously if the pin's cut right over a, a bunker, that, that's not achievable. We have to think about how the ball's going to come out here. So playing for a fatter part of the green for a start is going to help. Most important thing though is strike. Strike's king. That's going to get you to where the balls want to be, or where you want the ball to be, sorry. If strike is poor or unachievable, then of course we're not going to get to that desired location. So playing this shot, there's a lot of grass behind the golf ball. Last thing I want to do, which is one of the first things I see a lot of amateurs do, is they put the ball further forward in their stance to try and help the ball up. Now in doing that, they're bringing all this grass here into play. So what happens when the grass gets caught between the ball and the club face? Grass getting caught between the ball and the club face means the grooves don't work. Grooves cause friction, 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 which cause spin and more control of the golf shot. Of course, the more grass in between the club face and the golf ball, the less spin we're going to get. Therefore, the ball is going to come out and run a long way. We have no control over it. That's called a flyer. So pushing the ball forward to try and help it up, I'm encouraging the chance of that flyer and I'm decreasing the control I have over the shot. So, obviously, I have to move the ball further back in my stance to ensure I come down steeper into the back of the golf ball. Now, if I come down steep into the back of the golf ball, less grass is going to get caught between ball and face. If I move forward, come in shallow, a lot of grass is going to get caught between ball and face. So putting ball position further back to ensure angle of attack is steeper instead of shallow. There's ball position forward, there's normal ball position, there's ball position back. A little bit of weight on the left side, I can then come down steeper, and then from there I can get a little bit more ball than I do turf. So you can see there divots after where the ball was. I didn't take loads of grass before the shot, but there's more to it than this. This is the secret we're all after. You ready? <laughs> we need to make sure we play to the front edge of the green. Now we're going to do that in a fashion that's going to make sure we get the ball out. We'll play to the front edge of the green because it's going to run on. But how do we do that? How do we chop the ball to the front of the green? This has been explained before, but it's, it's, it's just good information. So we're going to play the shot to the front edge of the green because the ball is going to run out. So play it to the front edge of the green. And our best chances of getting the ball up and out of this, you can see how much grass is behind the ball. The best chance of getting the ball up and out is to play a fade. A fade shot is a path that's out to in with the face square to the target or slightly open to the target to allow for it to fade, but close to the path, which is another story. Let's not make it too technical. But we're going to try and cut across. We're going to swing out to in and just leave the club face square to target because that's adding a little bit more loft onto that path. So address position, 
club in line with target or where you want the ball to land. As I mentioned before, if the ball's tight behind the bunker, pins tight behind the bunker, that's not going to be achievable from this lie. We put ourselves here, we have to then place the next shot to be able to play your next shot from there. Going at the pins, not the answer. So picking a section or an area, front of the green, front middle is good for me. Front middle of the green, ball position further back, which is going to give me that steeper angle of attack. Now steep's going to encourage a little bit out to in, that's handy. Steep, encouraging out to in. We want to feel as though you cut across the golf ball. So if that's square to target, I want to cut across. Now that's exaggerated, but I want to feel as though I cut across. Obviously cutting across is going to take some distance off the shot, so make sure you've got extra club. But then again, the counterbalance for that is the ball is going to land and run forward. So do you need extra club? A little bit of experiment is going to have to happen there. So club in line with intended target, not necessarily flag. Ball position further back and a little bit more weight on your front foot, left side. Then from there we're going to swing out to in. Out to in chopping action to get the ball up and fade to the front of the green. So I line myself up. Good, ball position back, weight left. Grip down a little bit for more control. And I want to take the club out and in. So I want to just rehearse that. I'm going on top of the golf ball there. I can see the club head blur. I can see the blur of the club going from out to in. There's an in to out blur, don't want that. Square blur, don't want that. Out to in, that's what I want. And then I step on and repeat that. So weight left, ball back, grip down. Blurring to the left, cross the ball. Good, that's where I want to go. Step up, execute. It's pretty good. Very good. So the secret is to make sure you get the out to in path. Make sure you get the fade. I've put the camera face on here so you can see the path of the golf club. So again, cutting across, you'll be able to see the path out to in. I'm going to try and avoid the camera. Club in line, ball back, weight a little bit forward, gripping a little bit down. Out to in path, chopping across there to feel that, get that ball up and out. So I really got into that. Cut it up to the front edge of the green. Cut it up to the front edge of the green. That's the way to think about it. Ball back, makes it steep. Grip down, more control. Weight a little bit forward. Again, helps the steep, steepness of the swing path or the angle of attack. And swing out to in. Cut it up to the front of the green. And then from there, it'll just roll out. Middle of the green's always a good result because you've missed the fairway. That was your fault, not mine. I hope. So guys, there we go. Hope that's helped. You will miss the fairway. Next time you play golf, I guarantee you will miss the fairway. And so will I. And so will Dustin Johnson. And so will Rory McIlroy. We'll all miss the fairway. So next time, just think about that. That's how to play it. That's how to approach it. That's how to think about it. Don't just grab their club and smash it and try and help it up into the air. That's not the answer. A little bit of thought going into it. You're out of position. You used to get it back into position. Only you can do that. Good luck. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.